hey guys creative in a share and this is what we have created not this complete design but that slide at the bottom so let's zoom in and this is the design this is four steps process i hope you will like it so let's begin with the tutorial so this is the blank slide and we have to fill it with this four steps process so as usual go to the insert and this shapes menu and pick this rounded rectangle make sure the height and width same make it more rounded like an icon on your smartphone so so we have to design this rounded rectangle and we have to make it look more glossy and for that uh, let's first change the background make it dark because we are using the darker background so and you can see that color palette on the top that I have placed now we will design this square with the first color then we will change the colors as per the palette so just duplicate this and pick a circle and just subtract it from the corner go to merge shapes and subtract and this is the shape you will get fill black color and place it at the top left and increase the transparency and you can see this uh, change in color this blend and we'll do one more for that again duplicate this on a rectangle again pick the circle and subtract it and again we'll get this shape again pick uh, i mean fill dark color and then increase the transparency and now we will fill the gradient in this main rounded rectangle and here we have this two stops gradient on the first stop fill the color from the color palette and same color on the second gradient stop but the second time just move this slider downwards on the second gradient stop and this is the rounded rectangle and it's ready now duplicate it and place the second one below it and here we just have to change the colors from the color palette so uh, look how easy it is you have to just draw one shape and then duplicate in the colors and your design will be ready on the second gradient stop move the slider downwards now again duplicate create the third copy towards the right because we are making a tick sign we will rotate it later once we'll place all these rounded rectangles and let's pick the third color this blue on the second gradient stop fill the same color but go to more colors and move this slider downwards to make it darker and this gradient effect makes it look really cool and follow the same steps for the last one as well just duplicate and move it to the right make sure everything is well aligned and always use the guides and the grids and align option as well make sure that these uh, rounded rectangles are equidistant from each other then move the slider downwards and your rounded rectangles are ready now we have to adjust the spacing as i said uh, you have to follow the automatic guides which appear when you move these sliders make sure the distance is fine select all group this together and then let's first add the shadow effects to make it uh, you know uh, to add the glow effect and for that we will use the shadow effect we have filled white shadow make sure you change the color to white for the white on the rectangle and increase the transparency same goes with the second one fill this color and increase the transparency so, so, so this will add a very nice and light glow effect on these rounded rectangles now the steps are repetitive you know 
and make sure all the settings are same the blurness you set or the transparency well you have to change only two options transparency and the blurness and you are done just increase the transparency and slightly the blurness and you'll start seeing these glow light effects behind this only rectangle now you can group it and rotate it and you can press the shift key then it will rotate it by certain degrees i think it's 45 degrees so this is the tick the four steps to success but of course you can use it for uh, different slide topics as well for processes timeline in a style now let's design this four because we also love text styling so so we, we are using a very thick font monster at black you can download this font from the google fonts and again insert a text box and write the complete title and keep the four separate as a text so that you can change it easily and for the title adjust the size and then place it here move this four to the left and make sure that uh, both combined is at the center of the slide the four and this text now let's design this four we have to fill the gradient color and the color scheme that we are using is this the four colors and let's fill all these four colors in this four and you can change the direction and the gradient type you have to experiment here just test then you will uh, get the good results increase its size so it, it looks really beautiful now what should we do next let's add i mean let's fill the content and for that icons are you know our favorites and we always use icons but it would be great if you can get some illustrations or graphics from some free sites i'll create a video on the resources like from where you can get the free images videos icons and the graphics so i'll make a quick video on that and place all these icons at the center make sure the automatic guides which appears you follow those guides when i say guides i mean those lines that automatically appears the red lines when you move any object those are very helpful now let's add the text the content and for that uh, we are creating this custom bullet and which is very simple you just insert the circle and change the color to white matching the rounded rectangle and then write the heading and the text so make sure the text you're using and i've said this in my in many of my videos that use very less text i've seen slides where i've uh, you know i've seen like full paragraphs of content uh, is written on the slides and no one has time to read those long lines when paragraphs make sure text is very minimal like five to seven words in a sentence like this is a very long sentence so this is just a dummy text i'll remove the words change the font and let's remove this much text this is also should be removed and i think this this much is fine for now i've kept the font size very small but always you know check the font size in a slideshow mode if it is not visible in the slideshow mode then only change it so always review your slides in the slideshow mode now just duplicate and save your time you can duplicate either by pressing ctrl c ctrl v or directly ctrl d d for duplicate so here i have written a very important message which is subscribe so please subscribe to our channel if you are if you haven't subscribed till now because you will get some beautiful designs which you can learn and download for free from the G Drive link which is in the video description.
and then you have to change the color of these small circles now the design is ready but we have to do some finishing to make it look more we have to put life in this design and that's you know that's the uh, motive we have in every design that we create always try to i always try to do extra in every slide so let's create this circle remove these extra gradient stops we only need two so let's pick this yellow color fill this yellowish color or let's go with this white on both the gradient stops and on the outer gradient stop increase it to 100 percent the transparency and slightly move the slider to the left and increase the size of this circle and you can you can barely see it and send it to back so this will create a very glow effect behind these uh, rounded rectangles just duplicate and place the next one behind this pink one send to back and change the color to pink to match the rounded rectangle and look at this glow effect this looks really beautiful and same is the process for this third circle as well change the color to blue and send to back and this glow effects really look good on a darker background because it comes out really nice and it, it gives a very you know glowy effect uh, to your slide and it looks very realistic and in the end you can compare uh, it without the glow effect you'll see that there's a lot of difference now it has uh, it, it is looking more beautiful it has uh, a character this slide and it looks uh, you know uh, more interesting and a user would really prefer to you know uh, stare at this slide for a couple of more seconds so just duplicate this and paste it as an image you know increase its sharpness and transparency and this is what you will get and place it above the design but slightly move it to the bottom and then send to back so this will give a very nice you know reflection effect of the surface again duplicate apply the same style just reduce the size and i think this can become a kind of a signature for the slide so let's place it here so it is not necessary just for the aesthetic purpose i did and again i would request you to subscribe to our channel join the membership to support us this will really help us and you can like this video the more you will like the more uh, viewers we will get on this video and also you can download it and you can keep on doing this finishing stuff like to make it more beautiful at the end you can adjust the glow the size of the font font style but in a nutshell this is the overall design and this is how you create it now let's add one last thing to give it a very you know the glass effect it will it will look like that you are seeing this design through a glass so add this rectangle and increase the transparency and you can see that it looks like there is this glass window and you are looking this design through this window and send to back and here you can adjust the transparency level so i think this looks fine and add one more layer of a rectangle over this design insert this circle and subtract it and now fill a gradient color a linear gradient white on both the gradient stops and this will add a 
you know light reflection effect on this slide and this is what we need and increase the transparency 100% on the second stop and something like 10-20% on the first green stop and this is the output you will get and look at this this is the final output so I hope you will like it so please share this video like this video and we'll see you guys in our next video till then bye bye enjoy